Hi everyone, this is Christine Newman, blogging at listgirl.com. Today I'm going to show you how to create print templates in Adobe Lightroom to help you with your Project Life page planning. I process and organize all my photos in Adobe Lightroom. I also use Lightroom to organize photos of all, for all my scrapbooking and blogging. I've created a collection in Lightroom called Project Live 2013. While my photos can be anywhere on my hard drive physically, this Lightroom collection allows me to see every photo I want to include in my Project Live album together all in one place. Sometimes you've selected all your photos, but you're just not sure where to place them and which photos look good together. This print template will help you see how your photos look together in a two-page spread. So in Lightroom, first go up to the top right of Lightroom and click on Print to go to the Print module. Select Custom Package in the top right corner. Scroll down to the Custom File Dimensions and make sure it's clicked on. Then change it to 12 by 12 inches. This template that Lightroom defaulted to has photo slots that I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them all. Just click on each and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Scroll back up to the cells area on the right side. There are some predetermined photo sizes that you can add to the page. I'm adding a bunch of 4x6 photos and then converting some of them to 3x4s. Just click on a photo size and it'll add it to the page. Then you can drag it to place them wherever you want. You can also press the Alt key and drag a photo slot and it'll actually duplicate it. That's pretty cool. To create the 3x4 slots, just click to add a 4x6 slot and then highlight the slot you want to change the size. Underneath the predetermined photo size section, there's a section called Adjust Selected Cell. Change the height and width to make it 3 by 4 inches. And once you have a 3 by 4 slot, you can hold down the Alt button on your keyboard and drag to create more 3 by 4 slots and put them into place. Now I can pick some photos I want to put into my Project Live pages from the photo strip on the bottom. This was CHA week, so I had a lot of photos to pick from. To put a photo into a slot, simply drag the photo from the bottom into a slot on top. You can adjust how a photo looks into a slot by holding down the control button and dragging it within the slot. The beauty of this is actually once you've created a template, you can save it and use it over and over again. So now that I have have my photos where I like it, I can save this template. Go to the template browser section on the left and click on the plus button. Then just give the template a name. I'm naming this one Project Live Design A Spread. By default, the template is saved in the user templates folder. And that's fine. Just click create. 
Now this template is saved on the left side and you can click on it to use it whenever you want. One note of caution, Lightroom doesn't automatically save your photo configuration in the template. So if you have photos in there like I did and then you click on the template on the left side again, it will go back to being blank. So now I'm putting photos into the slots once again just to demonstrate um, that it, it went back to being blank when I saved the template and clicked on it again. Also, if you want to change the position of the photos, don't drag the photo to a new place. This will just move the whole slot. Instead, just pick another photo from the bottom and drag it into a slot with an existing photo and it will be replaced. If you want to save your photo configuration so you can look at it for reference for your Project Live pages or actually print it out on photo paper if you have a large format printer that will print 12 by 12, you can do one of two things. You can choose Create Save Print from the top right. Give it a name and save it. I'm saving it inside my Project Live 2013 collection. This will save it inside Lightroom only. You'll see it on the left side of Lightroom. It basically saves your configuration with your photos in it. Another way to save it is to click on the print to file in the lower right hand side of Lightroom. This will save two JPEG files for you, one for each 12 by 12 page. So just choose the folder you want to save it to and name your files, or just one file. Hit the Save button and then navigate to that folder and you'll, you'll find your two JPEG files in there. It will take a while for the JPEG files to be saved because Lightroom is actually saving each photo. So just be patient and look at the progress bar on the top left. And here they are. Th those are the two JPEG files, 12 by 12s that I s saved from Lightroom. Now they're in my Windows Explorer folder that I saved them to and I'm able to see the configuration to reference for my project life pl planning. Thanks for watching.